I live in I live in Brooklyn. Uh, I have 38 roommates. Yeah, which is apparently normal there to live with a platoon of motherfuckers you don't know. You know one time, one time, one of them texted me. He was like, "Hey, Raúl, we're thinking about getting a foster cat. What do you think about us getting a foster cat? How do you feel about that?" And normally I hate cats, but I don't want to be disrespectful to white culture. You know? <laughs> it's considered quite an honor among their tribe. <laughs> to pet wild animals for some reason. And I wanted to be open-minded, you know? I was like, eh, fuck it, get the cat. I'll try some soy milk later, too. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but then I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. What the fuck is a foster cat? <laughs> I looked it up, you know what it is? Basically a foster cat is, it's a cat that's done time on the streets. And he ain't afraid to go back either. It's a vicious animal we're talking about, right? But it was too late. I had already told the guys they could bring it in the house. They brought it to the apartment. You know, they let it loose. The cat sized up all the men. He was like, I'm gonna fuck all you pussies up. Dude, two months later, we're all walking around with scratches and bites all over us. But here's the thing, dude. This is what I learned living with this thing for two months. I learned that I don't have it in me to hit a small animal, but I will kick the shit out of a cat. Yes. Yeah, I know some of you are like, oh my God, animal abuse. Fuck you, you weren't there. I stand by that 35-yard field goal I would have made had it not been for the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's a crazy animal. It's not like I can just pull him aside and be like, gee, Winston, you've been pretty violent since you've been here. Is something you'd like to share? He'd be like, yeah, this. My girlfriend was like, leave him alone. He's traumatized. He's had to fight for his life out in the streets. I was like, yeah, I was in Iraq. I'm fucked up too. Kick the shit out of him. Yeah, I knew that cat was an asshole the first moment I saw him, too. Yeah, he was laying on the floor, right? And then he stretched out, and I saw that underneath his legs, on his ribs, he had a Bible verse tattoo. <laughs> that's a fucking asshole, that's for sure. He did not care about anybody. That is the dead giveaway of an asshole. A Bible verse tattoo? And if it's followed by some prayer hands, man, you're fucked. <laughs> 